Hi right, everyone, I've had a few people request that I do a video on how to play bar chords, so I'm going to teach you that now. Um, so the first thing that you're going to do when you're playing bar chords is obviously put your first finger, barring one of the frets, on the guitar. Um, we'll do the fifth fret for this, we'll do an A minor bar chord just to illustrate um, the points that I'm going to try and get across. So obviously it's the A minor chord, same as your open chord, but it's just as a bar chord. Um, so when you put your first finger down to do the bar chords, something that I find helps a lot is if you look at my um, first finger, I've got quite a lot of the top of it actually over the top of the neck of the guitar. If you have your like first, the top of your first finger lining up with the top of the guitar, it makes it way harder, particularly with the sort of um, A, D and G strings to get them all sounding out. So if you move your finger up, so I've got a significant proportion of um, my first finger up to the first knuckle um, above the neck of the guitar. So, and that makes it easier just because the anatomy of your hand um, to press down and get all the strings sounding out properly. Um, so that's one thing. Also, if you're struggling, you can turn a bit side on um, so that it's a bit easier to press into the strings. Um, so yeah, just turn your hand kind of side on. Um, and then also when you're doing minor bar chords, you only need your third and um, pinky fingers to do the actual chord shape. So uh, assuming that you're doing the minor bar chord in all six strings. Um, so you can support your first finger with your sec second finger. So you're pressing in with your second finger as well. Um, and particularly when you're starting out, you do have to press quite hard. It's something that you build up strength and technique for over time, but you do have to press quite hard, um, particularly when you're starting out. Um, and if you start playing songs, even now when I play songs that have got a lot of bar chords in, by, by the end of the song my hand is like dying, as if you've just written an essay or something. Um, so yeah, those are some things you can do to make it ring out a bit better. Um, and then when you are practicing the chords, just uh, occasional intervals, um, pluck each of the strings to make sure they're sounding out properly. So. If I do it a bit rubbish, you can hear that these aren't ringing out properly, but then when you press down, they are, so you'll be able to hear, if you do that, where you're going wrong with your um, first finger. So yeah, that's how to get them ringing out properly. In terms of the putting them into songs, um, something that's important is going from open chords to bar chords. Um, there's a good song for practicing this, which is Where Is My Mind by the Pixies, so it's... So you can literally just practice going from an E major to, this is a C sharp minor, so um, when you're doing the bar chords just on the bottom five strings, a lot of the same things apply. Um, obviously you don't need your finger all the way up if you're only playing the bottom five strings, it actually helps to keep it on just the bottom five strings because it's easier to get it ringing out because you're not trying to press down as many strings. Um, and yeah, so if you just practice going open chord, bar chord, open chord, bar chord, and getting those shapes, then it will be a lot smoother. Um, and that's quite an important thing, being able, or like being able to transition, for example, from uh, G, if you're playing just a regular song, to an F. So just practice G, F, like loads of times in a row, um, and you'll get the transitions a bit better. Um, and then, obviously, the final thing to really get them smooth is playing songs with a lot of bar chords in them. Um, so, yeah, a song like Where Is My Mind. help you to get the transition smooth um, and that's about it it's something that takes a lot of time but it's a good thing to learn 
because it opens up a lot more songs. A lot of indie music as well uses bar chords. Um, there are more advanced bar chords that are harder to get ringing out, like uh, seventh chords. So um, if you go to like a A7, getting this um, D string to ring out is very difficult because usually in a minor or a major bar chord, you would have your little finger there or to make it a bit easier. Um, so yeah, that's something where you really have to get your finger right over the top of the neck. Like I've got it a long way over here and then press down really hard and then you can kind of get it ringing out, but I'm not even that good at those. Um, so yeah, that's the main points. I uh, hope it helps.